The Meyer retail chain had problems with debit and credit card payments this weekend, so if you charged anything there, you need to keep an eye on your bank statement. Some customers were charged more than once for their purchases. Meyer says it's working with banks to try to remove those extra charges, but you may need to reach out to your bank. Help Me Hank is talking to one shopper who's really paying a price for this mix-up. That's coming up tonight at 5. Old Navy has been making a big push for inclusivity in women's clothing, but it's actually kind of backfired a bit. The retailer rolled out a plan to make clothes for all body types and sizes last summer. The Wall Street Journal reports the store ended up with too many extra small and extra large sizes. At the same time, the sizes in between were selling out. Uh, the journal says the idea of inclusivity resonated with shoppers, but that feeling overshadowed by frustration when women couldn't find the sizes they wanted. Since then, sales fell and the CEO has stepped down. We already know Arby's has the meat. It's also about to have something it's never had before. For the first time, Arby's is adding a burger to its menu. It's called the Wagyu Steakhouse Burger, a combination of regular ground beef with Wagyu beef. Arby says it's been in the works for two years. It claims the burger is 50% bigger than McDonald's quarter pounder, which if my math is right, means it's a three eighths of a pound burger. It costs just under $6, a little more expensive perhaps than you're used to paying for a fast food burger. It's available for a limited time now through the end of July.